hello guys you welcome back and it's your favorite youtube storyteller amaka and we are back with another video if this is your first time do not forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and without further talking let's get right into it so let's talk about the beef between juliana and pastor timmy looking to and then he just got angry and and he went from zero to hundred and he started screaming and he was just saying that how why are you calling me timmy Lenny? i'm not your mate I'm the drama between nollywood actress juliana and her former pastor timmy has entered another level as the actress abused him of abusing her sister sexually juliana had on tuesday called out timmy who was her spiritual father and manager for taking control of her facebook and other social media accounts during their exchange of words on social media the actress on wednesday revealed that the pastor molested her sister she wrote did you listen to yourself at all i don't think you did you manipulated and sexually abused my sister and you thought i would be calm you expect me not to be furious how are you processing things you did and the things you said how i don't get it you talked about apology and forgiveness forgiving you is a process for me i forgave you then for your sanity just when i was thinking to move on you do something else that triggered me and i get mad at you again and i beg god to help me forgive you again so guys this is what has been going on in other hand timmy responded by posting on his instagram story for those of you who are concerned about me or asking me to stop responding if i was brought before the court i would have to talk or my lawyer would talk i have been brought before social media i have to speak the truth but it is still up to individual to choose what to believe he went for that to write down some of the other things he chose to write and guys the argument has been heated like it has been on another level people have a whole lot to say about this some people are like making jest of them talking about spiritual father and spiritual daughter stuff about um juliana being too religious and a whole lot of other things has been going on i don't know what to say about this you know my own is to give you all news and then sometimes it depends on the news give you the analytics on what i think about that particular topic but for this one anything will concern man of god and my hand no day so guys i'll leave you all to tell me what you think about this in the comment section and you all don't forget to subscribe like this video and without further talking let's take a look at what julian has to say about this that i i was talking to the last time i was with you and your wife before i walked out on the both of you i was shaking thank god you even said it that i was shaking and i was crying you've never seen me like that before and i said i can't forgive i'm a bad person because you came here you want to tell the world that i'm a bad person but you didn't see why i was shaking and crying you just said some part of it you just brought out that part of me shaking and crying. You didn't see why I was shaking and crying and saying that I can't forgive you. Even though you added to the things I said that day. Timlene, you didn't come and tell them why I was shaking. You touched my sister, Timlene Adeko. How do you expect me not to? to shake i was shaking because i was so upset i was so upset there's nobody it would happen to that will not be upset i have not seen that person show me that person bring that person to me I am so upset because you promised not to touch that touch that girl. You said that you you when I was when I was seeing some signs and I was talking to you about it, you said that I was overthinking things, that I was looking down on you because I know about your weakness, that I know about your 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 struggles or what word were you using? You you were screaming, you said that oh would I be able to come and talk to you if if I if I um if you if I I don't know about the things that you are struggling with because you always call it struggle and i i knew that this is not about struggle i was i i said to me you must not touch this girl what did you do you told her to come all the way from school 
outside Lagos to meet you in the hotel for three days watching her have a bad touching her sending her your nudes asking for one I can't even go even begging her to have anal sex with her and you think that my sister will tell me that kind of thing and I will not tremble I will not be angry how do you not expect me to be angry Timileni that's why that day I said it, when you were saying give me opportunity to make it up i was angry i did i was shaking i didn't i didn't know how that's why i told your wife that i don't know how to forgive because that day you were saying that after all the things i've done my wife are still forgiving me but that's why i told your wife that i don't know how because it was still very fresh and then all the dreams i've had and everything i, I told you everything was just aligning in my head and i was like so this is true like you really did this thing to this girl that's why I told her to please pray for me because I couldn't find it in my heart to forgive you. Do you know the trauma? Do you know the pain? Do you know the pain? And I begged you that day. I said, Timilei, let this girl go back home. What did you do? You didn't say that part. Did you let her go? Did you release her? What are you saying on Instagram? What are you coming here to say? Also, your wife did a video the other time pretending not to know about anything that happened, saying she didn't know. I don't know how she has the heart, the conscience. I always thought that Titi Lokwe was a good person. Titi Lokwe, ah, that video. Oh, do me go. Ah, oh, e, ah, ah. You did a video, Titi. You posted it and you said that you didn't know. You are lying. Ah, Titi. <laughs> God will forgive you, people. Honestly. God will forgive you, people. God will forgive you, people. You didn't know. That was what happened that day that this guy came on Instagram now to be saying that I, I was trembling. I was saying I can't forgive. What are you even saying? Timileni, what are you saying? You said that I called you by name. Timileni, what is your name? What is your name? How old are you? You are just 10 years older than me. You are 34 or 35. I don't even know. I chose to call you D that time because I saw you as a father. I loved you. I was loyal to you. I served you. I stood by you. I went through different phases with you. I did everything. I honored you. Everyone who knew me knew where you were in my life. Knew the position that you had in my life. I don't even want to cry because I don't want you to do another video saying that I, I came online crying acting because I'm an actress. Don't and don't ever say that again, please. I cheer, I valued you so much that my entire family called you my father. I chose to call you father, and I can choose not to call you D. I have friends who are your age and older than you and they beg me not to call them uncle auntie or anything because they are civilized people so i don't know why you're upset i don't know how you even expect me to come and call you d i don't how are you thinking about these things how how are you thinking about it you claimed that I blocked you on Insta on Instagram. I blocked you on WhatsApp, Timileni. When I left, I didn't say a thing to anybody. Everybody who discovered everything was based off of the anonymous, whoever anonymous is that sent text messages to people. Because I was still in shock. I was struggling. I couldn't put anything together in my head like Kilo Shele, like what happened? Like I was in a very dark place, like I said. So I didn't even have time. I was still on, on the church group. I was still I was still just there, staying there until you and your wife started saying nonsense to people on the church group, trying to cover up all the nonsense that you did. And I'm like, no, you can't cover up. You can't you can't do this. 
and I couldn't take it because it was hurting me where I was. That's why I let the WhatsApp group. And then when you and your wife had the effrontery to send me a voice note saying that I'm going to run mad, that because um, God is angry with me that I did something, something to you that I left you or something. I don't even remember the details of that voice note, but I still have the voice note. I was so angry that what kind of manipulative voice note is this? That's the reason why I blocked you and your wife.